Brand loyalty is out, saving on groceries is in. Personal finance expert Rubina Ahmed Haq says the days of shopping where you've always shopped because it's close to home or work are over for many. We're seeing an uptick uh, in uh, consumers wanting to shop at lower end grocery stores, though places where they may not have all the bells and whistles because they're getting a better price. And no wonder food inflation is eroding purchasing power so your dollars don't go as far as they used to. Cereal, pasta and baked goods prices are up about 18% in the past year. Fresh fruit is 13% more expensive. Fresh vegetables, 12%. This business of food professor suggests buying frozen. The nutrients, the, the goodness in them is, is locked in when they're harvested. Uh, they're, they're typically low in price. They may not look as good or as taste as good as the fresh, um, but they're typically cheaper. Prices of citrus fruits, berries, nuts, lettuce, all items we import from the U.S. and Mexico are going to continue climbing as winter weather adds time and cost to transporting them to Canada. The weaker Canadian dollar is a factor too. So are rising fertilizer, pesticide and labour costs. This week, Loblaw announced a price freeze on 1,500 no-name brand items, and Metro says it's not accepting price increases from suppliers for the next three months. Critics call these PR moves that make headlines but don't make your bill smaller. They're freezing prices at these elevated levels. It's not like they're bringing prices down and actually making a difference. Switching from a full-service grocer with lots of prepared food options to something more basic with less frills is one way to save, but not if it involves paying more for gas and your valuable time. If you're having to travel across town or, or drive long distances to get a, one cheaper product, you, you know, you're spending a lot on fuel, uh, that's a bit of a waste of money there as well. Instead, pay attention to the cost per unit, which will make you savvier at spotting real deals and not getting duped by shrinkflation. Anne Gaviola, Global News, Toronto.